Hey everybody, happy Wednesday and welcome back to the Fuller Homestead. My name is Brian. Today's video is gonna be different in that it is very specific towards one piece of equipment, one brand of equipment and one model of equipment. So let me show you what I mean. When we were buying the house, I ended up buying this mower off of the previous owner. It is a, what we think pre 2007, bad boy Z Pro, I think they call it a pup. And it, uh, we have no idea how many hours it has on it. It's got a brand new Kohler engine. And by brand new, I mean, it's not the original engine. I'm not exactly sure how long it's been with the mower. He may have told me, but I have forgotten. So we're still learning some things about this particular mower. My son just got done mowing the yard. Certainly do appreciate that. I was gonna go ahead and service it, but then I thought, hey, let me stop. There may be some people with this particular model that don't know, you know where all the grease points are and that type thing. So let me tell you what I've already done. I started scraping out some of the grass that got caught up in there. I took an air compressor, blew some of the loose grass off, and I aired up the tires to 20 PSI. So that's where I stopped because then I thought, you know what, I probably should be filming this. I'm gonna take it down to the hose. We're gonna spray it off. Not that we care that it looks all bright and shiny, but we're gonna get a lot of the loose dirt off, especially up underneath the um, mowing deck. And then we're gonna bring it back up here, put it up on some blocks, and I'll show you all eight grease points of this pre-2007 Bad Boy z -Pup. Just as a recap on what we did before the spray off, I did air the tires up to 20. I did go ahead and blow out a lot of the loose grass that was there, scraped off some. And then I also came in here and I got the air filter out and I took compressed air, blew it out, blew out the foam cover around it and then put it all back in there. So that's been done. So now what we're gonna do is hit all eight grease points. I'm doing this because I want to save some of you guys some trouble for looking for them, number one, or if you're like, oh, I never knew that one was there, this might help you. So let me get set up and show you. Some of them are real easy to find. Some of them are not so easy, not only to find, but to get to. Okay, so the first one is actually a set of two, but I'm counting each one of them as one. So this one right here, but there's also one right up underneath here. All right, so let's go ahead and hit these. The top one I've done fairly recently, so I really only need a pump or so in there. Go ahead and clean this area around here. Get all that old dirty grease and stuff. Not that it's impacting the inside, but just go ahead and get it out of there. Whoops, came off of there before I was ready. Okay, the other one is on the inside where you can't see it. Let me see if I can move the camera for you. Still kind of hard to see, but it's actually on the inside right in here, but same style as the other one. Now I have not greased this since I bought it, so I'm gonna go ahead and really pack it in on this one. Okay, now that those two are done, let's go over here to the back side and flip up the seat. And let me show you a couple under here. So right up underneath the seat, got a zerk there and one up on the other side. So you got one there, one there. Let's hit those. On this end, my fitting's not getting under there. So I'm gonna snap one of these zip ties to pull that cordage out so that I can have easier access to it. And then I'll just re-zip tie it. I think instead of zip tying the back, I'm just gonna leave it open until I have access to it next time. So this next one is hard to get a shot of, but if you go right up under the back of the mower on this back side right here, there's one right there. So we're gonna grab that one next. Got that one a little too full. We're still at the back of the mower and the next one is right there on the back of the mowing deck. I had to lower it just a little bit while it was in the blocks, but it's right up there. Can't get a good connection. 
almost gonna take two hands here. I cannot get that thing to stay. Let's see if I can get it from the outside in. not wanting to go and I do not want to waste any more grease so that dirt is either clogged or I just can't get a good fitting on it all right now we move over to the side on each side of this spindle right here you've got one one's right there and one on the other I had to lower the mowing deck just to get to it but now it should be okay clean off that trash Sorry for the awkward camera angle, but it's about the best I can do. Try to get that in there. All right, there's all eight grease points. Just to recap, if you want to count, it's technically 10, but one, two, three, four, we're counting that one, two. We've got the angle here, so three, four. We've got underneath the seat, five, six. And then we have two that you go underneath the mower for. One we had better luck with than others. There's the first one. And then the second one, or excuse me, there's the seventh one. And then the eighth one is right back there. And just had a booger of a time trying to get that one. There is your bad boy pre-2007 Z-Pup. All eight slash 10 grease points for you. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. I know it's a little different than what we normally do here on our channel, but hopefully it was helpful, especially if you got a pre-2007 bad boy Z-Pup. I know we got this mower, didn't have a manual or anything, so we're kind of learning as we go. And while it might not be the most glamorous part of homesteading, because we love Instagram photos of all the harvest that you get from your garden and all of the livestock and the new babies and all of that kind of stuff, and it's great. But then you got this. You got the regular maintenance of your equipment that's gonna help you produce another garden, that's gonna help you have more livestock on your property. So while it might not be glamorous, it is a necessity. Hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday. If you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, I would love it if you would do so. Also give us a thumbs up if you think it's warranted and hit that little bell so you know about when the next video is going to come. We try to put them up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that means we will see you next at the beginning of your weekend. Bye.